Hello, it's story time with Tanta. And guess what? Here's another favorite book, The Mitten by Jan Brett. She writes beautiful books. Well, this is a on a folk tale. She used a folk tale and she then wrote it the way she wanted to. She had this idea and she adapted it. And look at the pictures of all the animals. Can you see all those animals on the cover? Yes. And they're looking at a mitten. What's going to happen with that mitten? What do you think? I really love Jan Bratt's books because, look, she has little pictures on the side of the story side. And here we have the grandmother making the mittens. Yes, once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted new mittens made from wool as white as the snow. And so we have, oops, let me see. We have the spinning of the wool. And then over here we have the yarn and picking out the white yarn for the mittens because this little boy wants mittens as white as snow. So Nikki, you're gonna get some mittens white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them for him. So yes, there's his grandmother making the mittens. She's knitting the mittens. Do you think Baba, Grandma loves Nikki enough to make him white? She didn't want to make him red or blue mittens. No, she's going to make him white mittens because that's what Nikki wants. So. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long before one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Uh-oh, so here they are. He's going and climbing a tree. And guess what? Can you see that white mitten down there? <gasps> it's hard to see in the snow, isn't it? But it fell in the snow. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size. So he decided to stay. Now I have to show you, Jan Brett does this little trick. Look at this mitten on the page before. <gasps> and there's the mole inside a mitten. Then we go to the next page and we can see the mole. He tunneled through and he found the mitten. But look at What's that inside the mitten? What animal is that? What do you think is going to happen? So now the mole goes inside the mitten where it's nice and cozy and warm. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped a moment to look at his beautiful winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten. He wiggled in, feet first, and the mole didn't think there was room enough for both of them. But when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. So, okay, here we go. Nikki is off having adventures. And here comes the rabbit into the mitten. He's wiggling into the mitten with the mole. Oh my goodness, what's this? What animal is this? We're 
gonna find out. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along, having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat. He decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jumped, jostled, but not being not ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. Okay, so Nikki is off looking into fun things, looking into different things and having adventures. And here comes the rabbit and squeezing in. There's the rabbit and there comes the hedgehog coming in with his prickles. And there's the rabbit thinking, hmm, I don't know. I'm not gonna argue with a prickly hedgehog. He let him in. Oh, and what's this animal? What is that animal right there? And there's Nikki still wandering around. What's happening? Okay. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down and he decided to move in also. The mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog all grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. So there's Nikki. He's off having adventures in the snow. And here comes the owl. And the, and the animals, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the mole, they look and they say, well, I guess we can't stop him from getting in. But look at that mitten. Can you see the pricklies from the hedgehog? Oh my goodness. Is that owl going to fit in that mitten? Let's find out. Oh, I forgot to say. Look at that animal. Who's coming in next? Up through the snow appeared a badger. A badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There's no room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Thumbs up. Let's go in. Okay. So, in comes a badger. Now look, Mickey is off still wandering around. Ooh, there's somebody there underneath. And there's the badger. And there are the animals all looking at the badger. Do you think the badger's gonna fit into that mitten? I don't know. They're stretching it out. And who comes next? It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of a cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in when the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth. They made room. They gave the fox lots of room. Okay, so look at that. The fox. The fox is going in. There's Nikki sliding down. And look at Oh my goodness. What's the next animal? Do you know what animal that is? Okay. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to left, be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched and was being pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's knitting, Grandma's knitting, held fast. 
Oh my goodness. Look how big that mitten's getting. And there's the bear coming in. There's Nikki sitting on a stump. Oh, and what's that? What kind of animal is that? Along came a meadow mouse. No bigger than an acorn, little tiny mouse. She wriggled into the space, one space left, and made herself comfortable on the great bear's nose. Where's the mouse? There he is, there's Nikki. Look at how the mitten is stretching out with all those animals in it. And oh no, Nikki realizes Nikki has only one mitten. Uh oh, but look at that mouse. Where is that mouse? Right on the nose of the bear. What's gonna happen? The bear was tickled by the mouse's whiskers and gave an enormous sneeze. Achoo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in every direction. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. They're all flying into the air. because the mouse tickled the bear's nose and made him sneeze. Oh, now Mickey, now Nicky, look at Nicky. He's got to find his other mitten. What will grandma say if he comes home with only one mitten? What will happen? What will grandma will say, you wanted white mittens. On his way home, Nikki saw a shape, white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the sky. So, we can see all the animals tumbling down into the snow. And there's Nikki. Can you see that mitten? And there's Nikki. All the animals fell back into the snow. As he ran and ca to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw he still had his new mittens. And look at Baba. She's looking at that one mitten. What happened to that mitten? One is really big and one is still small. Oh my goodness. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. I love you until next time.